We are. We about to unleash. We about to give the truth to the old school, middle age. We about to unleash. Hey, family and friends, y'all got to help me get straight to the point. Did y'all see the rally that y'all VP was at? Not mine. That y'all VP was at, right? With Megan the puppet. <laughs> yes, Megan the puppet. Why do I call her the puppet? Because she had been used. Listen, y'all, at the end of the day, that made the whole Democratic Party just look bad. Have y'all ever been embarrassed? Have somebody ever embarrassed the things that you stood for? I'm going to tell y'all something. After that rally and what I saw and how I saw Camilla that's going to sit up there and point out the other guy's song, let's walk it like we talking or something, I was done. I was like, she could never represent me. She could never represent what I stand for, my values, my beliefs, my morals, or anything. At that point, I believe she lost a lot of the blue people. She lost a lot from the blue team. Because at the end of the day, that was disrespectful. That was very degrading. That had nothing to do with the presidential campaign whatsoever. And so we know that it was a puppet that was being used. We know it was to solicit the black vote. We know that because for some of you all who do not know, have no clue about this politics stuff, y'all gotta start opening up y'all research lab. Y'all gotta start understanding what are they doing and why are they using the so-called celebrities? They're using the so-called rappers and why are they using? Because they're trying to solicit the black vote, why? Because 83% of Democrats are black. That's why. And they want to use the black people for the black agenda. But listen, if y'all don't know, I want to share with y'all some things about Camilla that y'all do not know. First of all, she has a prosecutor background. And let me just say this. Have you all heard anything about her prior to her running for president? No. We didn't hear anything about her. Now all of a sudden, she's doing something in the black community she wants to help. This is, if y'all cannot see this foolishness, listen, I wasn't even getting ready to get into none of this stuff. But I could not help but get myself involved when I saw this foolishness. How disrespectful. Listen, I've been rolling with the blue team for a long time, but I'm going to be honest with you. After this and seeing who the representation would be for the blue party, I'm telling y'all, questions are off. Questions are like, listen, I, my grandmother will be rolling in her grave because just like most of us, our grandmothers has taught us about being Democrat. But the stuff that we're seeing now, no, nobody want a part of that. We don't want to. We don't even promote the stuff that she's out there trying to promote. We don't even promote that in our household. They think that every black person is ghetto and ratchet. Look who she go get to promote: <laughs> ghetto and ratchet. Let's be clear: ghetto and ratchet. Most of us who did come from that background of being ghetto and ratchet, we was trying to leave that alone. We was trying to get more conservative because that did not serve us. That did not serve our future. That did not serve our careers. That did not serve our children. And that did not serve us as a human being. We were taught some of those things and it was bad behavior as I teach my kids. And we no longer wanted to go in that direction. Now here she come back ratchet and think that she is going to be a representation of the USA. Never. They better pick another candidate and they better hurry up because this one right here that y'all got, oh, it's great entertainment, but it better not never make it into a White House whatsoever. It shouldn't have been there in the first place. Let me just explain something to y'all. So y'all know Kamala has a prosecution background as a prosecutor. And so if y'all check out the information, let me just read some of this to y'all. Let me read some. I'm going to read it to you like a 15 year old, okay? I have information that I want y'all to actually see. Number one. This woman actually was defending wrongful conviction. She defended cases where people were wrongly convicted because of messed up evidence of fake testimonies. Even when it was clear they were innocent, she fought to keep them in jail. This shows she's more interested in looking tough than being fair. Y'all better know who y'all thinking y'all voting for. Y'all better check her background. Listen to this in her background. She put a lot of people in jail for marijuana, even for just having a little bit of marijuana. But guess what she did on a breakfast club in 2019? <laughs> she admitted that she was smoking weed herself when she was in college. Y'all better know who y'all voting for. She's against criminal justice reforms. Check, check your research, okay? Harris said no to laws that could help reduce the number of people going to jail for small crimes. She defended the bail system, which makes it harder for poor people to get out of jail. And she was okay with the death penalty. She also didn't support a law that will make small crimes less serious. This has hurt a lot of black and brown people. 
Y'all better go do y'all background. So why all of a sudden she's here to help reform? She's here to make sure, as Megan said, that people can keep their bodies looking good. No, let me tell you what help keep your bodies looking good. Y'all keep on paying all that money that y'all paying to suck all that stuff up out of there. It ain't about no abortions and all that kind of stuff. They fooling people thinking that, oh, the Republican Party want um, the ban abortion. No, they really want to ban the fact people having abortions at eight months and nine months. They're still leaving it open to people who want to have abortions that maybe for, you know, incest rape crimes or for anything dealing with you know the mother y'all just believe the stuff y'all hear and y'all don't do no research and now it's time for us to come out the back us black folks who do know us black women black not going to talk degrading to you guys i'm not going to do that because of what her actions is and the actions of some others no because we're better than that we work hard in ministry to get that little image from uh, from among us that we just ratchet we just hood rat we just we anything, you know, we the money. We're trying to get that image. And here you got a VP that's trying to bring that nasty image back to the black community and to the black folks. No, the Democrat and Republican Party is not what we have known it to be in the past and when our grandmothers them stood for it. This mess that VP Kamala Harris is supporting and, and she's out advocating and she's in these black communities because she actually needs the black vote. Now, if you understand, it's three point something million black people in Georgia right now. They need their black vote in order to take over Georgia. So you see the, the extent that she's willing to go, the humiliating, I mean, humiliating people. Do you see them folks who in the audience was looking at her like she was crazy. They was looking at her like, what did, we didn't sign up for this. We came to see, we didn't sign up for this. But because she wanted her own agenda, she understood that it wasn't the white folks in that audience that she really needed. It was the black vote for Georgia. So she disregarded how they would think, how they would, she had some girls up there shaking their butts, calling themselves twerking, looking crazy, talking about something in the lyrics that had nothing to do with nothing, but straight up ghetto, nasty, cool rat type of stuff that there was no safe person wanted to hear or listen this and then you got to understand something the the, the audience that a magnet is appealing to that audience don't even really vote <laughs> so she's trying to get i'm done if, if y'all don't understand this woman by now let me tell y'all some other things that she's done before like y'all gotta understand <laughs> put people in jail um let me get some other stuff what did she do um whoo instead of using her skills to help people she used them to manipulate and control we already listen i already told y'all that this is crazy right she understands historical she understands the democratic party she understands the vote that she needs this woman does not mean this party no good i'm not going to just talk about the democratic party as a whole but i'm telling y'all this this choice right here was a bad choice this is a bad choice and i'm telling you going to lose people off the blue team like never before because at the end of the day this is not what we stand for what she's promoting what she put that is not what we stand for she has teased me off trigger preaching she teased trigger preacher off up there and smiling and yes her mother and her father is Jamaican and she resonates with whatever community she feels like she needs to resonate with at the time she needs to resonate with them. So that's beside the point. Beside the point after the ABC community, she's going after this feminist and this woman movement and women don't play into this and be her puppet. Because if you check the background of her record, she ain't really for you. She ain't really for your men that's in prison. She ain't really for your, your sons that's in prison, your brothers that's in prison, your uncles, your nephews. She's not really for them. She's a prosecutor for, for God's sake. Okay, a prosecutor, not a defense, a prosecutor. We have not heard anything about her until actually this presidential thing came up. Listen, she is humiliating the black woman right now. And if you will vote for her just because simply she's black, then you have been deceived. You have, you are, you are really happening and how you are being used. At this moment, I am done. I am done with me that's representing this foolishness right here. Cause she don't represent me. And I'm gonna tell you something next in probably my next video. Cause this, this thing right here, what she doing? And this Megan and the, no, Megan don't even represent me. She don't even, the old version of me before I was saved, sanctified and filled with God's Holy Spirit. Yes, she represents the old version, the version that needed to be saved. The version that needed to be delivered and the version that needed to be set free. That's who that Megan represent. And she needs to be set free. Because that ain't nothing but demonic territory that she's operating in. And this ain't nothing but demonic territory that this democratic affiliation with Camilla is operating in right now. Baby, this is not of God. And if y'all can't see that, then y'all are really blind. And I'm going to ask God to do this. Open the eye of the blind. Until next time, this is your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you share this video. I will be back with more because this ain't over.
Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.